Hi guys, Omar with Overlanding Just Cause. I'm back for another video. My leg is feeling a lot better. Um, I'm out of a cast. I'm actually on a knee brace, or excuse me, ankle brace right now. Um, the bone is healing great. The only problem is the atrophy is kicked in. And, <clears throat> and it's just taking a while for my muscles to kind of get their strength back. I don't have a lot of muscle to begin with. So, you know, just losing a little bit is a big deal. So it is what it is. It's wor I'm working on it. It's getting stronger. But this video isn't about my leg. It's about the GX. So what I plan on doing is changing out the grill. Now, not sure if you know, I'm going to wrap this pretty soon. And I plan on doing a chrome delete. Well, the shop wanted to charge to delete that chrome there in the centerpiece pretty much two of what I got. And this is what I got. I went on alpha garage offroad.com and I bought a TRD Pro style grill for the Lexus 46 GX 460. I think it's gonna look sick. It's purely aesthetics. There's nothing, you know, that's gonna help this thing off-road or overland, but it's gonna look good. But yeah, now I don't have to do any chrome delete. Uh, delete. It's already kind of like a matte black, a satin black. And I'm going to replace it. So let's do it. All right, so first things first, I am going to take this whole front off. Uh, there's four bolts up here. And mine is going to have three because when I did the cutting, I cut off the fourth bolt. So um, because of the bumper, CBI bumper. One thing that I'm going to have to do is... That brand new grill, I'm going to have to cut it so that it fits the bumper just like I did, uh, I did this OEM uh, grill here. But it'll still look good. Let's do it. Oh, about time. Oh, look, another one. Windshield wiper fluid all over the place, which if that's the only thing spilling, I'm good with that. All right. Hard part's done. <laughs> I think. Unlike the OEM bumpers that come with the Lexus, ugh, this is one piece. The OEM bumpers are two pieces. So yeah. Um, one piece, we'll figure it out though. It should be literally click in and then uh, screw in. Oh yeah, and on the website, you can choose to have this uh, either black, silver, or like a bronze, I think. Um, but this is standard all black with this style. So I have to figure out now where to cut, because I want to cut before I install it. All right, so here's the next step. I'm gonna cut below that line, the blue line, the blue tape, and so that it'll fit on that CBI bumper right there. All right, so it's not on fully. It's just kind of still on those brackets, or excuse me, the clips right in the center line. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a couple zip ties, two on each side, and clip it so that I can still let it hang without it falling. Because I need to be able to push it out enough to be able to clip all that monstrosity that's down there. So uh, let's do that. All right, so that's, the end result, all the lines are in place. I still have to put screws on the, on both ends of the fender, but here lies the problem. This aftermarket one doesn't come with 
screws that connects to here, 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 and then this one over here. You see I have zip ties here. That was just to hold it uh, up here while I worked down there. So those zip ties are coming off, but I can put zip ties from through here. You won't be able to see it here. And then probably from this piece here, zip tie it to like maybe in here. Same thing on this side. There's already one there. Zip tie it to this hole here. And just make it tight so that it's pushed in. The wind's not gonna make it flat. And that's really what those screws were doing. My other problem is no weather stripping. Because that extra piece isn't here to screw onto this and this and this. That's where the weather strip was. So, when I close the dough, the hood, there's a huge, I wouldn't say huge, but there is a gap. This, this line is pretty nice, but huge gap in there. I mean, is it the end of the world? No. Does it look sexy as hell? Yeah. There's the weather stripping. Because I'm not putting an OEM type bumper on there. Can't use it. But there it is. The TRD style grill on the Lexus GX 460. So here's the finished product. Let's take a look. As I mentioned before, I had to end up zip tying this so now this is on here pretty good got one here got one here and then the fourth one so now this thing isn't budging when before there was a lot of play in it and like i said earlier the oem one had actual brackets that came out to be able to bolt on so that's that the other thing i took care of were the sensors and you can see for now i put some zip ties down I love me some zip ties, but uh, it'll do the work. It'll do the job, I guess, until I figure out, figure out another way. This is what it looks like closed. I was kind of complaining about the gap. This gap here, not so much, but when it comes to here, there is a big gap. So I'll go to the store at some point and, and get some... Uh, weather stripping even if it's just for from here to here to cover that gap but I think it came out really nice I love it actually I mean like I said I am planning on a chrome delete so that's step one here right here and eventually I'll get to all the other little pieces before the actual wrap gets put on the better I start feeling, the more videos will be coming out because as you can see, I've got rock sliders here. That box over there is my skid plate. I've got some molly panels that I'm trying to put in. There's a couple things that I want to put out. I just need to be able to move around a lot better. So leave a comment, like, subscribe if you like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.